Hello my dear friends, welcome to learn SAP FIC. Friends, today we are going to start a very important topic of SAP FIC that is asset accounting. Today we will learn about introduction of asset accounting and we will know some terms used in asset accounting. So let's start with a new topic that is asset accounting before starting i request you all please subscribe my channel and share the videos with your friends with all sap learners so that they can also learn this important topic that is asset accounting so let's begin what is asset accounting the question is what is asset accounting the asset accounting is used to manage the procurement transfer sales and retirement of any fixed asset the asset accounting is used to manage the procurement transfer, sales, retirement or depreciation of any fixed asset. So the purpose of this asset accounting is to manage all the process of procurement to transfer, sales, retirement and depreciation of fixed asset. It is calculated on only fixed asset, not on current assets. So the main thing is is calculated on only fixed asset in financial accounting it serves as a sub ledger to the general ledger as we have learned in ap or ar like uh, our vendors is our sub ledgers same as in asset accounting the fixed asset is our sub ledgers of the general ledger for example, building, motor vehicle, furniture, fixtures are our subledgers. So now we will discuss about the some important terms which we use in SAP in asset accounting. First is asset class. What is asset class? Asset class will be created for each category of asset. It is it will be created for each category of asset. In asset class, we create the individual asset before requirement. Before requirement, we create individual asset class for each classification of asset. We create separate asset class. So in SAP we need to create asset class for each and every category which we want to define in SAP of asset. For example, for buildings, for furniture fixtures, motorcycle, for computers, any fixed asset for each fixed asset we create a four character code that is asset class code it is used to categorize the fixed asset it is clear now what is asset class i hope it is clear because i have defined in a very simple language it is used to create for each category of asset now next is account determination why do we need to create account determination in asset accounting account determination is used to determine the gl accounts of fixed asset in account determination we assign the gl accounts with a fixed asset of a fixed asset for each asset class we create separate account determination for example, for a gross block GL, accumulated depreciation, ordinary depreciation, loss on asset sale, profit on asset sale, asset sale clearing GL will be assigned in all these GLs. 
will be assigned this account determination will be assigned in this account determination so it is used to determine the gl accounts of fixed asset all the gls will be assigned in account determination friends now i am giving you overview of the main terms which we use in asset accounting when we will do practical it will more clear now only need to give focus what i am trying to say and what you need to understand next term is screen layout what is screen layout the question is in your mind what is screen layout so screen layout is used to control the field status of asset master data screen as we have defined the field field status group field status group under the t code obc4 that field status group control the fields of gl master getting my point similarly we need to create this screen layout to control the asset master data screen fields in this layout we can control the screen fields which we want to show on the screen and which we want to hide which we want to make it required optional all these option we will get into screen layout so it is used to control the field status of asset master data screen and it is assigned with asset class and it is assigned with asset class for each asset class we create separate screen layout for example for building we create separate screen layout for furniture fixture we create separate screen layout for motor vehicle we create separate screen layout it is a four character code which we create to control the field status of asset master data screen field in for example in building we want to show the number house number and in motor vehicle we want to show the field of number for a vehicle number that plate number so which fields we want to create as optional required or hide we can control by this screen layout i hope it is clear now next is number range for each asset class we create number range for a separate asset class for each asset class we create separate number range these number range are assigned with asset class in within these number range we create individual assets master as we have created in vendor masters also we create the number ranges similarly we need to create the number ranges in asset masters also so that we can create the individual asset for example 01 we created for this 1000 to 19999 02 we created for 2000 to 2999 so this is the example of number ranges number ranges we create to each asset class these number ranges are assigned with each asset class and within these number ranges we create the individual asset master i hope it is clear now because friends it is very important topic you must clear all the concept these things we will use in when we will do practical for a asset masters when we create asset master when we create assets so we need to create all these things now next thing is gross block gl what is gross block gl the question is in your mind what is gross block gl this is the account which will be created as reconciliation account for asset 
this is the account which we will create as a reconciliation account of asset most of the things are similar as we have done earlier at the time of accounts payable accounts receivable as we have created a reconciliation account at the time of accounts payable like domestic trade payable account foreign trade payable account similarly this is also a reconciliation account but the role and responsibility is different of this cross block gl account now listen very carefully this account will be created as reconciliation account of asset separate gl will be created for each asset class asset class is clear now ki asset class means the category each category of asset and for each category of asset we create separate gl for this cross block gl we create separate cross block gl and during creation of this gl we select a asset in a reconciliation account field when we create a reconciliation account under the t code fs00 in control data we get the option for reconciliation account type in that account type with in which we have created k for our vendors in place of reconciliation account we have to select a for a asset our example of this gross block gl we can give any number for this gross block gl and this gross block gl is will be a part of balance sheet this gl will be show at the is the uh, asset side in the balance sheet it will show in a asset side as a debit balance of this gross block gl so now when we will do practical it will more clear now next is accumulated depreciation gl what is accumulated depreciation gl this account will be created as a reconciliation account of asset separate gl will be created for each asset type sorry for each asset class it is a part of balance sheet account it will show as a asset under this balance sheet account type for example we will create for each asset accumulated depreciation gl now next there are so many terms which we will get to know in our next video till then do practice